Hello, this is Professor Bustini Booth. In this video tutorial, I'll walk you through how to post and reply in the Canvas discussions. All right, so we'll go ahead and find an assignment. You can do that by going to the to-do list. And if it's not listed there, you go to modules. And then you'll scroll to the assignment. And in this case, I'll go to week three and look for the Canvas discussion that's due in week three as our example. In this case, Canvas discussion, business good or public, public good. You'll click that and then the assignment will appear along with, you know, in, information like why we're doing it, what kinds of skills and knowledge you'll be learning, which are typically listed in the overview for the week, and then a list of the steps. And so uh, first, of course, you want to read all of the directions. You'll want to note the deadline. And then typically uh, the number three steps will be, you know, an articulation of how to reply the, the steps. And this is basically what I'm showing you in the video today. So in, in this case, copy and bold each discussion question, and then you reply thoughtfully in each turn using the concepts and principles that you've learned from the book. And you'll want to follow this, the steps closely because the rubric assigns points on your ability to have followed the, question, the guidelines uh, closely. And so here's an example of what it would look like if you were to have done that well, you know, correctly. So this is the post that has been copy, pasted, and bolded. It is then followed by a little bit of a space there. And then the answer, a substantive answer using concepts and principles to demonstrate your understanding. And then followed by the next prompt, also bolded, and then with the reply beneath it. And the reason why we bold that is so that it can be differentiated from the reply. It's just easier on the eye. It also looks more professional. So in this case, here are the uh, discussion questions, all right? So you will, you will highlight that on the on your mouse or your equivalent. It's a right-click, copy, right? This is after you've read chapter two and three, by the way. And then you will go ahead and reply right here. This button that says reply, and uh, and then you right-click on your mouse or the equivalent and paste. Go ahead and do enter. You know, and you will will type you answer hello, so on. And then you'll want to, of course, bold that, all right? And here's a bold option. And then you'll go back up and say, OK, I'm done with that question. You will also copy that one. You will then paste it here, and you will bold it, right? I typically don't bold until I've had the line underneath so that I don't bold the answer as well. So you will you know type your answer here as well. And you'll just you know do that until you've done. Once you are done, you will then post a reply and it will appear at the bottom of the last person who has you know responded. And I won't scroll all the way up because this is an actual answer from a student. And you know yours will appear there and you're like, okay, I need to reply now because that's the second step. I need to peer reply now, and I need three of them. And you will scroll this thing up and down to see what your choices are, and you will pick and choose, right? And then you have until Wednesday, 11.59 PM, to get that completed. And you will basically do similarly what, you know, as far as formatting is concerned. You will pick a, uh, uh, a part of a student quote, say this one, and you want to reply to them. You want to put that in quotes, right? And then, uh, then you'll say hi. And I'll just pretend this person is Robert. I, I don't know who this person is. I just completely made it up. And then you will type your reflection thoughts against their quote above. You know, you'll write that. And you'll want to use principles and uh, concepts that you've learned from the book as well. You know, the, the degree to which you agree or disagree or offer a different way to think about what that person has said. And, you know, it's best to also bold that so that it's differentiated from your answer. Okay, so I hope that was helpful to you. Uh, please have fun with the Canvas discussions and be sure to do them by the deadlines because the class does not take late work. All right. Talk with you again soon.